Behold the unbelievable presence that is the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The true meaning of a larger than life superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Grenoble, France. Weighing in at 520 pounds. The eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Seven feet, four inches, 500 plus pounds, more than just tipping the scales. Yeah, towering and dominating the competition with impressive ease. Well, there is a massive obstacle in the way of anyone who stands across the ring from Andre the Giant. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, the international champion, Rogers Rick Storm. The arena's buzzing, social media's buzzing, a big fight feel in a main event level match. Uh, is it just me or is anyone else expecting him to be completely pulverized by Andre the Giant? I agree with you, Saxon. There's no way to truly prepare for Andre. And expectations have to be high for the champion in this one. Yeah, even when your title isn't on the line, everyone still expects to see you competing at a championship level. Well, here's hoping they can deliver just that for this crowd. And to say he's got quite the challenge in front of him is probably the understatement of the century as he's facing the intimidating Andre the Giant. Definitely not someone you want to draw the eye around. Even if he likes you, Andre is a tough opponent. So I don't want to imagine what Andre would do if you got on his bad side. Insulting. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. It's always amazing to watch Andre the Giant. All this incredible athlete needs to do to win is put his world-renowned physicality to work. Once Andre unleashes the full power of that 7'4", 500-plus pound frame, there's little any opponent can do about it. You're not wrong, Corey. Andre is in the very unique position of being able to rely purely on his natural gifts to be an automatic difference maker. He turns it around. He steps foot in the ring again. There's a Russian leg sweep. Ouch. Rapid fire rights over and over. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Likes oh, oh, man. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, Andre working toward dismantle. From the top, good lord, taking flight. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. What a headbutt. Vicious. to the action. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. With the reversal. Uh-oh. And a carefully measured knee drop. Uh-oh. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Compromised position here. Oh, right to the throat. Into the cover. Gets the shoulder up. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? 
Measured up nicely. Fist drop! Oh, man! Continuing to work on the arm with a... Andre might never have experienced a blow like that one. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. Over the elbow. And he goes for the pin. He narrowly avoids the count. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. An elbow will break that up. Setting him up for the flatliner. Vicious right forearm. Not the position you want to be in right now. Piercing the throat. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Shoulder tackle. Uses the edge of the knee. Oh, oh, oh. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. He's heading back to the ring. Andre the Giant. Complete control. Andre gets reversed. Arms trap. Just unloading knees to the body. All the giant answers back. Two-handed choke slam. into the corner. Oh, this superstar has no problem breaking the rules. Taking things way too far. Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throat. Just ruthless. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. This could be it! The end of Hornet. Can Andre come back from that? Pin! Three, no! A two count! I can't believe that this whole arena's in shock! Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. This competitor in full control of their opponent, delivering the headbutt, but more plans in mind. And as the superstar climbs to the middle rope, those plans will be the bonsai drop. Cover! Two! Kicks out. I mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Giant has him staring at the lights. Cover! And Andre, big victory here for this superstar. They say discretion's the better part of valor. It certainly is when you're dealing with the Phenom.
Here comes Prime Alexander. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander has found success, whether flying solo or teaming up. Singles and tag titles on his resume already. Cedric has scratched and clawed for every opportunity in his career. Cedric Alexander has proven he can compete at any level in any type of match against any superstar. So you better be ready. Things are about to get good. And his partner from Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the ring of pro wrestling champion, Tank Ole. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. The WWE Universe just exploded. this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. The champ planning to show his dominance of this division with an emphatic win tonight. Here comes the Macho King. The cream of the crop has arrived. And from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage. He is a man who has proclaimed himself as king. Well, oh, Byron, a king shouldn't address that type of disrespect. A former WWE champion who will rightfully claim the main event as his kingdom. The Macho King about to put on a show for all his subjects in the WWE Universe. And these peasants don't deserve it. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Tap, tap. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. 
followed up by another to the chest. Planning on what to do next. Oh, snake eyes. Candy in their face. Delivers the knee. Ah, look at this. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Boom! Well, dodge in the corner, followed by an overhead kick. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Unloads with the boot. Can he score the pin? And he easily stops the ref's count. He's not even close to being done yet. The jumping complete shot. Face first. Off the rope to the outside, Tope Kahilo. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Set up for the Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Oh, strong knee connects. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Frustration might be starting to set in. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Stomp to the leg. Tag made. that attack wear and tear really setting in now this is when you have to take advantage of can he score the pin oh baby gets the shoulder up in one kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan paying it right back with a reversal getting him into the corner dismantling the arm in the corner Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Tagging his partner in now. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Cranking the arm. And a kick and a punch. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. An atomic drop. That'll jar your spine. Another. They're not done yet. With the atomic drop. Larian. Partner tags in. He's absorbed some damage already. Ooh. Control. Oh, kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here relentlessly. He's hit off the tag. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh.
Savage looking for something here. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Tag. <laughs> Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Clubbing four. Snapmare takeover. Followed by. Looking for more damage here. Ouch. Release back suplex. Ouch. Quickly slip behind. German suplex. Release. Cover. Is it enough? No, he gets the shoulder up. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Nailed it. Shining Wizard. One of the best to ever do that move. There's not much room out there. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. He must have seen that coming. And that one misses the mark. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Enable the counter. And now thrown back into the ring. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Being carried around with ease. Turning the throat there. Both wrists captured. And man, knee strike. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Stops the legs. Gets him with the counter. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Got the tag. Got the tag. And he saw that coming from Cedric. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Looking wobbly in the corner. Great reaction from Cedric. Oh, what a close line. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Boy, you're a pin uppercut. He's tagging out. Up. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? 
I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. Oh, Saxton, sit down. Byron, uh, uh, go for KC. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 425 pounds. Rikishi. Don't be fooled by his dance moves. This is the 425 pound foundation of the bloodline. Yeah, and when the party's over, it's gonna be painful. And you're looking at the man who says when the party's over. Rikishi has held the tag team titles multiple times, an intercontinental champion as well, and he knows when to dance and when to fight. One of those damn Dudleys is at it again. Who knows what we'll see tonight? And his opponent, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 269 pounds, Devon Tons of tag team goal, but more than ready to fight on his own. Oh, the collection plate is out, and he is ready to punish the sinners. Doesn't matter if he's fighting alone or with his brother. Devon will beat you up all the same. Now, Devon is more than happy to put folks through tables all on his own. Heck, maybe he'll put one of us through one, too. Devon Dudley looking to carry on his legendary career tonight. A Hall of Fame pedigree. The man is an 18-time tag team champion. 18. That's no easy task on its own. But when you consider that's across three promotions, that's just ludicrous. Yeah, Devon is certainly no stranger to winning. And I'm sure that's what he's focused on in this match. I'm just happy he drew Rikishi for an opponent tonight. I really want to see that dance. You would only like to dance. How about the championship reigns? The Anawaii lineage? This man was so hungry to reach the next level, he hit Stone Cold with a car. Am I the only one who thinks he should be feared? Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, right across the throat. What kind of offense do we need to see from Rikishi tonight if he wants to come out on top with a win? We need to see his versatile offense. Rikishi's a veteran with a deep playbook. He can throw hands, toss you around, or even come flying off the ropes. He needs to unleash all of that on this opponent. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Ow! Oh! 
exchange. It looked like Devon lost some focus. A lot of power behind that one from Rikishi. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Rikishi finds his target with that one. Devon creates an opening. Shoulder tackle. Running leg drop. Drop. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Whip back into the ring. Just caught flush. And Rikishi channeling his energy here. Tremendous. Uh oh. He turns it around. Uh oh. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. Turns that back on Devon. Slam. Leg drop across the throat. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Discus punch. Oh. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. I don't think Rikishi was having any fun absorbing that blow. Yeah, watching Devon aggressively work the opposition. Still in it. That's how you stop your opponent. He's heading up top. Thinking up high. Look out below. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Things now Whoa. not going well for Rikishi. Yeah, Rikishi's on the wrong side of every exchange. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Producing a trampoline. Rikishi ready to go. Not done yet. The wheels are turning for Rikishi as he ascends up the ropes. Rope shaker. Rikishi got all of it. Shoulders down. He kicks out somehow. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Rikishi able to dodge that. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. He's struggling a bit here. Not a bad one. now has the opponent set up, and there is saving grace. Can Rikishi cut back from that? What a kick out at two. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Whoa. Nice side, headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Leg drop! Explosive assault from Devon. Devon continues to maintain the advantage. Go by Toss back into the ring. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. And Devon with a critically timed maneuver. This is Devon in control and looking toward the finish line.
delivering nasty stops. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. Here's and he very quickly counters. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. And Devon Dudley turning it around. He must have had that scouted. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, look to the throat. Turns the tie from the knee to the abdomen. Devon Dudley looking to take this one biblical. He tries him down with saving grace. Devon could have this one. Devon. Man, what an upset. An absolute upset. I am in disbelief. I still don't know if what we saw was oh. real. That was uncalled for. This superstar has completely lost it. He is oozing machismo. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 287 pounds. The bad guy, Razor Ramon. We are about to witness the unbelievable power from the bad guy. And an intimidation factor that is off the charts. As tough as they come, Razor never backs down from a fight. Contest. He will smack you up, beat you down, and earn one more victory for the bad guy. He looks great with all that gold on him. And his opponent from Australia, weighing in at 230 pounds, one half of the International Wrestling Grand Prix Tag Team Champions and one half of the Tag Team Champions, Mike E. Nichols. One man, 
two championships, and the talk of an entire industry. You have got to respect the fact that this is what greatness looks like. The significance of this accomplishment cannot be overstated. He has solidified his legacy by carrying those two championships. He went through adversity, survived the wars, and in the end, there could only be one winner. And that winner holds two titles. You know he's going to be fighting for it all in this match. Yeah, he's made it clear he is dead set on remaining on top of the mountain with those two titles. They say winning a title puts a target on your back, and here's a man who has stepped up to take that challenge head on. Yeah, he's braver than most. Superstars always say that being a champion is a constant battle of you versus the world. Even if you're not defending the title, the pressure is still constantly on you to deliver. We'll see how far that bravery takes him momentarily, Byron. But he may have bitten off more than he can chew by taking on the bad guy. Reyes Ramon is as beloved as he is reviled for his willingness to go to any lengths to cut through the opposition. I think the success Razor's experienced in his career is more than worth having to endure a few boos from the WWE Universe, Saxton. Some people just don't know how to handle the extreme envy they feel when they take a look at someone that endlessly charismatic and innovative. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. Razor Ramon able to counter. Boom, what impact. And he's able to counter. Oh, the face has been planted. There are a few athletes that possess the size, speed, and agility of Razor Ramon. That trifecta has to be tough for any opponent facing off against the bad guy. Well, Ramon uses all those skills with his signature strikes that can drop anyone in a second. If Razor's opponent can avoid or even withstand those haymakers, he'll be in a much better position. And a series of vicious stomps. That was a showing of control and aggression, something they'll want to keep up. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, right to the throat. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, impressive counter. Not where you want to be right now. Razor gets countered. I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. Down with force. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Bulldog. Big forearm. He deflects it right back. A counter answered by another counter. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. And will this be it? Now, celebration begins for this man enjoying the victory here tonight. And his opponent, obviously a sore loser. Well, oh, Cole, I got a feeling this story is far, far from over. Sign me up for a rematch.
They are ready for battle. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 506 pounds. The tag division has been extremely competitive as of late. Every duo looking to show why they run things around here. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And their opponents, first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! As of late, Ricochet's thrilling aerial maneuvers and breathtaking athleticism have been combined with a new level of aggression. And what we've seen from Ricochet is he moves a little quicker to fight fire with fire. Well, unfortunately, Ricochet still looks for the approval of the WWE Universe. He could soar even higher if he stopped thinking about what the fans want. Here we go, guys. Classic tag team action set to get underway. Anything we should know, Corey? Tag your partner, trust your partner, pin the other guys. That about cover it? Sounds good to me. He reverses it. Athleticism from Ricochet. Outrage dropkick. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Bang, bang, they kick. Ooh. Ooh. Tag. <laughs> well scattered reversal there. 
He's been placed in the corner now. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Elbow on the spot. He knew that was coming. Situational awareness with a knee to the abdomen. Punch connects. This match grinded him down a little. Boom! What a right! He switches it back around. Knife edge chop! Here he comes off the tag. Oh! How's that for a counter? off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. The power uh -oh. shot to the face gets them out of that spot. Caught with that sharp elbow. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Lariat! Good lord. That was nasty. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. So much damage inflicted. He's looking a little off balance. Right to the face. My god. right into the bread basket. Uh-oh! Targets the gut to end the offense. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Ankle lock is cinched. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Uh-oh. Oh, side kick! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Right to the spine. There's a tag. Oh, bicycle knee strike. Oh, oh, on the jaw. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, we see Ricochet trying to boost the excitement of the crowd with that. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Alley-oop. This could be it. Cover. Fending off a two count there. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. And Ricochet adapts. Oh, God, that hurt. Send him up. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Oh, my Lord. Looking for a pinning combination here. Driver. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Oh, the ankle locks it. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Tag is registered. He made it. Tag made. Flattened with a body block. Followed immediately by a big elbow. Bam! Down he goes. He's starting to struggle here. And yeah, it's about time. He's got him down. Is this it? And he kicks out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. From way up top. Headlock takeover, slowing down the pace. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Into the corner now. Strong overhead chops. Oh, just riding. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Head to the pay window. Thank goodness oh, for the teammate. Not just quite in time.
In off the tag. German suplex. He's absorbing some tough hits now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to Gut wrench and hoisting up their opponent. Face first into a DDT. See ya. Thanks for coming. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Wow. Missed timing with that springboard. Side. Able to get there in time. Spin kick to the midsection. Ricochet powers him up. Driven down for the win. There's two. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here are your winners. Ricochet and Will Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight. The American Nightmare is here. He is plastic, but that arm is not looking fantastic. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Oh, even in action figure form, that injury is tough to look at. But guys, we know Cody will fight through the pain. And the top action figure doctors have cleared Cody for action tonight, and he's ready to fight. The WWE Universe is on their feet for this man, Cody Rhodes. Cody is going to fight with every fiber of his plastic being, and maybe he can fix that peck with a new paint job tomorrow. Demented. 
Cody Rhodes is here. A horrible fate for this formerly handsome young man. And his opponents, first from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes! You know, once upon a time, Cody called himself dashing. Now he's consumed with ugliness. Yeah, he's even brought paper bags to the ring and demanded that fans and the crowd wear them. I'm surprised he hasn't made you wear one, Saxton. Well, if that was the case, you wouldn't hear me on commentary, Corey. I fail to see the problem there. Cody says he'll win tonight, or he will never show his face again. Is that a promise? I hope it is. And here he comes. And from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 231 pounds, the hybrid champion, Hannah Ray. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. And we've been waiting for this, a triple threat match. One fall to a finish between three very hungry competitors. Egos, feelings, and bodies are about to be hurting this one, Cole. That's just what happens when you add a third to the mix. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Uh-oh. Rhodes turns it around. And a kick. Oh, he retaliates. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. Oh, stiff headbutt. He saw it coming. Getting air with that forearm. If there's one match type that's all about knowing when to pick your spots, it's got to be the triple threat match. Being a smart competitor means biding your time, letting the other two superstars in the match tire themselves out and wear each other down. Then you just have to pick the bones like the in-ring genius you are. Honestly, sounds more like an in-ring scavenger, Corey, but still a smart strategy nonetheless. Straight to the knee. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Kendo stick impact. Cody's heart being put to a test now. One wicked attack after another. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Pinpoint. Swing of the leg. Big knee to the midsection. Brought down with the bulldog. Oh, that'll clean your clock. And sent right into the corner. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Gets out of dodge. Transform into the kick. That was disastrous. Cody 
clearly not the only one with something to prove in this fight. Rhodes causing damage, causing harm. Uh-oh. He has an answer for Rhodes. Escapes in a nick of time. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And he's going with the great equalizer here. The steel chair. Oh, that chair shot delivered. Fans off the attack with an elbow. And Rhodes able to reverse that. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. <laughs> caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Oh, what a shot. Wrenching the arm. Not done yet. Into the arm breaker. Hammer lock. That attack was definitely pre-calculated, hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. Oh, knee drop! Woo! Oh, good, his shoulders are down! And a kick out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. There he goes, right into the corner. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Cody looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Forearm! Just punched him right in the middle. Relentless. Enough already. Oh, what a count. Look at this going. Oh, what a right hand! Serious jeopardy for Rhodes. Saw that one coming. Headbutt. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Swinging the elbow to hold the elbow. Kick to the gut creates separation. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Cody Rhodes procures a sledgehammer, ready to smash another one. And he's pulled the. Cody looking to end this. Shades of the old EC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Cody's cut open. But I think he's in his element, guys. Oh, man. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Put her in a position now. the competition further there. That attack certainly going to threaten Cody's chances in this one. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. There's Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. That's got to be it. Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. The director's cut, and he may get the three count right here. This is it. He kicks out at two. I am shaking.
shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. The slips him behind her cover from that. And he's able to reverse. Oh, what a roundhouse. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, close line. And this has got to be it. Kicking out in time. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. He'll head to the ring. Caught with a punch. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Oh, a right hand for good measure. Falls up, brings them down. He's going for the pin. This could be it. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here is your winner, Cody Rhodes. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion, Ian Tammy My Goo! The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. No matter how high the deck is stacked, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them.
Just take a look at the champ. Always an event when she competes. And here's a superstar who clearly has no shortage of courage. Well, the line between bravery and stupidity is a very fine one. And there's a strong argument that this competitor is crossing it by stepping up to the champ. I prefer to think of it as making your own opportunity, Corey. If you get a chance to fight the champ title match or not, you got to take it. And across the ring is a champion. She didn't come here looking to mess around and play games. She looks to be all business. And whether she's defending her title or not, she is in the business of winning. You don't get a championship like the one she's been carrying around unless you're a top-tier competitor. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. She's fighting back. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Three. Looking for the single leg attack in the foot. Oh, that hurts. Four. Oh, there's an arm breaker right to the spine. What do they have planned here? Kicks, smashing the face right into the ground. Six. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, look at that. It's a subject flip power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. She got out of there. Ooh. Suplex. Two. Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. Oh, foot right in the throat. Brutal. She's starting to look concerned. Double axe handle. She's firing up, no doubt about it. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually. Look at this! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor! A total. No! Suicide dive! Pinpoint precision right on target. <laughs> Able to reverse that one! to inflict more punishment. Oh, draped over the top rope. That will rearrange the spine. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Yeah, Cole, but at this point, the she can end it here. No, kicks out. She's still as determined as ever. Ooh, well measured. And now she's getting routed. Yeah, she's having issues fighting back. Finally, she's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. Into a German. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Delivers the cross body. Crafty way to get out of harm there. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Don't 
delivering the suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. She's got an answer for that. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Goodness gracious. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace, that right there is how you do it. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. Watch out. A big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. These women have gone to all-out war in this match. I don't see how they have anything left to give. Uh-oh. Way too much. Oh, diving moonsault! Isn't it enough? Isn't it enough? What in the world? I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Good timing with that reversal. Look at her answering back. Oh, straight forearm. We've got to acknowledge these fans. A packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud, and it is mad in here. Boom, head kick connects. Super kick finds the mark. And the effects of this match able to be shaken off by her. Yeah, she's able to unleash some hellacious offense to bring things to her favor. She's got her in her sights. She steers clear of that one. Arm drag, takedown. Dragon suplex. Talk about a bad landing. Two. She gets the shoulder up. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. This one is headed outside, guys. Counters that. <laughs> Spinning kick to the gut. Oh, my goodness. Dynamite leaping tombstone. Measured knee drop. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, straight forearm. Had that one scouted. Flying man. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Perfectly executed. Going up top. Take off. She comes up empty. Well placed kick. Mm. Oh, that's that's a line. It cinch fighting desperately. She rolls her way out of the submission and takes control. Oh, strong impact! For the pin and the win! Yes! And that'll do it. It's finally over. Here is your winner, Ian.
Putting the locker room on notice with a win like that. I can't even imagine enduring everything we just saw. This is what it really takes to be a WWE superstar. Yeah, now we're talking. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 287 pounds. It may not be cool to play by the rules or treat every single opponent with respect, but they don't care. Hey, the WWE Universe sounds like they think it's cool. Agreed. It is cool. What you just said was powerfully uncool. Let's go! Go! This superstar has got to tread carefully tonight because the hitman can eliminate you like a sniper. It's why they call him the excellence of execution. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett, the Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And folks, we're in store for quite the matchup as Brett, the Hitman Hart, is here and clearly ready for action. Guys, they call this man the excellence of execution for a reason. You will not find a more ring-savvy superstar than Brett Hart. I can tell you that much. Oh, absolutely, Byron. This could be quite the special affair here tonight. But he's going to be facing one superstar who's always evolving. He told me earlier that he's looking to showcase some new moves in this match tonight. Here we go, start the count. Any more punches and Saxon's gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Elbow oh. right to the nose. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Hitman never saw that coming. the top rope taking this to the floor go oh, right to the kidneys golly wow what a leg drop Two. and look at this now bad intentions coming with this hole and he very quickly counters back straight into the post on the outside And a 
Vince reverse paid for that mistake. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. He's perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Sharp knee. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? Oh, there it is. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. Up and down. Power bomb. Oh. Hold it on. Hold it on. Power bomb. A third time. That is the kind of ride you never want to end up on. Saw it coming and took him down. He can do it here. No, shoulders up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Ooh, bad landing. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Check your face after that one. Targeting the stomach. A wind up and a thunderous double axe handle. He's lost some of his win now. That looks painful. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh no. Into a chop block. Shot right to the kidney. Great wherewithal on the counter. Sudden cutoff from Brett. Devastating elbow. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. No. Suicide dive! No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Two, let's go, let's go. Two, and Brett gets countered. Three, four, and he tosses it back in now. The excellence of execution, looking to cinch it in. Can he turn his opponent over? Yes. Sharpshooter applied. Sharpshooter's locked in. Bret Hart did it. Here is your winner, Bret the Hitman Hart. That'll do it. Bret Hart walks away with the W. Bret Hart proven again here tonight why he is the best there is the best there was, and the best there ever will be.
The Texas Rattlesnake looks ready to hunt. Oh, buckle up. We are about to see a fight. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold is not just a moniker. No, he's got very little regard for his opponents. Austin just wants to stomp mud holes and stun everyone who stands in his way. One of the all-time greats in NXT, now bringing his black heart to WWE. And his opponents, first, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple-time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. And here comes one of my favorites. And from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 210 pounds, Kyle O. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Look who's here. The cream of the crop has arrived. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage proclaims the madness rules forever. It does, Cole. Everyone else is just fighting for a sip from the same cup of coffee in the big time. Macho Man has survived clashes with icons and giants, a truly fearless competitor. Because Savage understands the magnitude of the moment, and he's not sweating anybody. There's a lack of rules in a fatal four-way match. Superstars can even use the ropes to their advantage since there are no disqualifications. That's right, Cole. The competitor knows what they need to do to take their career to the next level by any means necessary. 
You mean taking shortcuts? I repeat, I mean getting the job done by any means necessary. Right in the face! My God! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Here's a free tip for surviving a fatal four-way. Watch your back at all times. Letting yourself get caught off guard is a surefire way to suffer some devastating offense. You're not wrong, but you practically have to grow eyes on the back of your head to do that effectively. This is right for him. And it's Champa having to endure some bad intentions there. Austin just showing what a mean SOB he can be. feel like jelly after you got spun like that. Champa's attack is thwarted.
the bottom rope. This won't end well, no. Randy Savage connected with a good shot there. Dig it. That kick will stop me in your tracks. A champ going across the back of the neck. Hellacious power slam. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, I think Austin was busted open there. Oh my god! Powerless position to be in right now. Straight in back down the throat. He's going for the pin. This could be. Truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. All three of his opponents really made him fight tooth and nail to capture the victory tonight.